Hey everyone, the name is Eric Doran. Okay, story time. Imagine this, you've been on vacation for one and a half weeks. You get uh, ready to go on the plane, you go to the airport, you're early, you're good on time, and suddenly crisis hits you. You realize, uh, your girlfriend realizes she's lost her bag. She lost her bag at, at the restaurant we had lunch at, and it's there, and we, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're at a loss, you know. Uh, where is it? Like we didn't know it. First, first we didn't know where we lost it. We lost it on the train. Did we lose it on the restaurant? Where did we lose it? Actually, and uh, I start calling. I run through the train. It hasn't left yet. I can't find it. I uh, call. Uh, I ask the personnel. They don't, haven't seen anything. I make a call to the restaurant, and they say, "No, I don't see anything." And so you're less left with, okay, what do you do? No, if we can just get on the plane, that's all we can do, right? We can just get on the plane. And uh, while we're on the bus, we just realize what we're losing here, like how much of value was in that bag. And then we realize that the, her passport is in there and she's going to London. She's going to London on Monday. And uh, yeah, it's just getting worse at this point. And we're just realizing, well, we have to get that back. Like we can't... Uh, we, there's no there's no no other choice otherwise you have to cancel the London trip the hotel the plane everything it's just money in the sea it's just everything's gone and uh, yeah it's uh, a shitty situation to say the least and I realize I can make it I can make it if I go right now get on the tat train and uh, yeah, I can make it. All I have to do is pay 50 euros, 50 euros of risk. Now, here's my question to you. Would you take that risk? Would you pay 50 euros for the chance of maybe making the plane or maybe missing the plane on the minute that was, I would literally arrive on the minute to the airport. So thinking about it, I realized, oh, I have to, I have to. And uh, I end up booking the 50 euro train ticket, then I get to the restaurant, I call my friend, my friend is in the neighborhood, he picks up the bag for me, he comes to meet me at the station, he's a hero, like there's, there's a testament of true like friendship, like this uh, Haval, you were amazing, huh? That, that uh, really meant so much to me, that he would just run to the opportunity to go there, get that bag, and uh, help me out in that situation. It was a notice of half an hour. You know, imagine this. Like, how many of uh, you would say yes to that if you had 30 minutes to pick up a bag uh, for your friend who was on the airport? How many of you would jump to do that? Think about it in a regular time. You're at work, whatever is going on. How many of you would jump to that opportunity? How many people are that kind of friends? You don't. Have, I'm not saying you have to be. It's you really don't. Uh, but that is next level friendship. And then think about this, okay, we meet, he meets me up at the play, uh, train, I get back and um, gradually I'm starting to realize it's not going to happen, you know. When I bought that return ticket, they said the plane was delayed. That's, and, uh, that's what spurred me to buy that return ticket. I saw that there was a delay of 10 minutes. Maybe there would be more delays. You know, bad weather, it's very windy. It's, lots, it's not that good in Amsterdam right now. So I hoped, I bet on fate that it would be late and that I would make it. And the fact of the matter is I arrive on time, on the minute I arrive and I run through the spares and they stop me at the spares and they say no it's not uh, possible well you can try but it's up it, it's, it's yeah probably not gonna work and I go and I try and I uh, hit the gate the gate is just next to the check-in just next to the check-in one minute to check-in I uh, the train stops just uh, next to the st check-in everything is like lining up to me and I hit the gate and they tell me no no like the plane is not gonna leave yet, but we can't let anyone in. Uh, and uh, here's the thing: like the tra the plane was on the ground for ten minutes. I could text with my girlfriend while she was sitting on the plane. She was going to Amsterdam. She had my bag with her, everything. Like uh, she had all of my stuff, and uh, I had her stuff. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, the, the imagine that situation. And uh, then. Uh, all I could do was, uh, they told me, yeah, you can go to the airport, uh, you can, 
talk with them, maybe they can rebook it for you. And I go there. I give up like at that point, like I just give up and I go there and I'm like, okay, what how much will this cost? I don't know. And I come there and I talk to them and I wiggle and you know, I've mastered verbal like keto. I've studied everything about how to talk with service personnel and how to make them help you as good as possible. And I have a technique I do. Like this every one of you should use this technique. Uh, it's the it's the kind gentle brontosaurus. You have to make yourself like don't scream, don't shout, don't stress them out. It's not gonna help them. It's just gonna make them less willing to help you. Uh, just be calm. Just say yeah, I understand. It's my uh, uh, sorry. Like I should have planned it better. I should have like just uh, own up to your own mistake and show that you're uh, you know that you made a mistake and. Uh, that you know that they can't do anything, but that you still wish they could do something. And I did this, like I do this always, I always do this. This is how I handle every situation like that. It's just uh, the best thing you can do in this situation. You can't get mad at anyone else. It's not anyone else's fault, it's your fault. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, it, is, it was my fault and my girlfriend's fault. No, none of us noticed that whole bag, a whole backpack was missing. We didn't notice. We had so much luggage with us, of course, so that that's part of it. But we, so we, I guess, when you're walking, like you're not realizing it, and you're just feeling, oh, it's so nice to walk. Like you're not, you're not thinking about how you're missing a luggage. You're thinking, oh, it's so nice to be walking, and that's the that's the thing that hit us, you know. And uh, so they tell me it's gonna be. Uh, 170 euros, like double the price of booking the actual ticket, the actual return ticket. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, what they said. Um, and they said, uh, and I said, like, uh, what time? Uh, 6 30. Okay, it's 6 30 in the morning, it's leaving in uh, 10 hours from now. What do I do? Like, do I take this offer? Can I find something better? Should I? And they say, sorry, I can't, like, that's the best we can do. Like, we can't offer you anything else. And I, luckily, I already checked up on Google Flights that it would be, like, 340 euros to book any other flight. So I realized that, yeah, they're giving me a 50% discount, uh, well, for their flight company, like, even more. Like, so, I have no, uh, yeah, I have no choice. And uh, suddenly you realize how much money you burned through. I burned through all my money. Like, I, yeah, I'm just... Uh, Bled dry at this point, and uh, yeah, it's a shitty situation. But what I'm wondering about now is how would you have dealt with these situations? How would you have dealt with these crisis, last-minute decisions? And here's a, uh, I, I, I have always felt like a person that is shit, absolute shit, absolute garbage at crisis, and packing myself in a crisis. You know, I freeze up, I can't decide, I stand and I still, but, and I've noticed these problems, I've worked through them for a long time, I've been working through these problems, trying to find a way to stay calm, and you know, first, I'm going to tell you what the most important thing you can do in these situations, take a deep breath and visualize, that's what I do every single time I'm about to make these decisions, take a deep breath, slow down, visualize, see before you what you will do. And that's what I've done always. See before myself what I will do. And uh, weigh the risk, weigh the options. And here are some time rules. Don't make risks if you can't pay for it. I could pay for this, so I could take this risk. I, if, uh, I, don't bet anything more than you're willing to lose. Never bet anything more than you're willing to lose. Uh, that's just uh, hard math. You can't take bets if, you can't, if you're not ready to lose. Then uh, the second term rule is focus on what's most important. Keep your eyes on what's most important. Don't get lost in like the small things. Oh, the discomfort. Oh, I can't uh, lose that uh, nail polish. Like, uh, don't think about those smaller things. You focus on the most important thing. Can I or can I not make it without this bag? How much is it worth? How, like, uh, like, just make a rough estimate in your head. And, you know, the more you fuss over the details, the more likely you're gonna make a bad decision in this situation. So you don't have time, stress, uh, Time, trains are leaving right now, flights are leaving right now. Like, all you can do is uh, just think about the situation calmly and uh, make a rough estimate. 
and uh, make a prediction on what you, option is you think is best. And you know, this is where you need to leave things a little to your unconscious. And you have to submit yourself to fate and you have to let fate have its courts. And sometimes fate will fuck you over because uh, it's really just a 55%. Uh, like you're dealing with a rough estimate, you don't know what's gonna happen. You, n nobody knows, it. <laughs> it's not happened yet, you know. So all you can do in the situation is just leave yourself over to fate and accept whatever happens just accept whatever happens just take a deep breath over and over and accept i'm gonna if gonna miss this plane what do i do like uh, after i miss this plane i'll find a way i'll find a way that's my mantra overall i will always find a way and uh, i'll find a way to any situation and since i believe that and because i am a creative type i can find a way and i will find a way and uh, now I have uh, 10 hours to kill in Sky City in Arlanda, Stockholm. Nothing to do, uh, no place to stay, no passport, <laughs> and uh, no ability to check into a hotel. Nothing. I'm not ready to spend more money. I'm not ready to lose more money. I'm just gonna stay here, pack myself down, get some uh, fries from McDonald's, and uh, be good with it, and uh, live with it, and deal with it. and. Uh, so my question to you is, how would you have dealt with a crisis like this? How do you deal with last minute decisions? What do you do to make sure you make the best decision? How do you deal with making the wrong decision? And uh, with missing planes, with missing trains, with all those things, you know, those daily modern stressors. How are you with risks? And uh, are you brave? Are you ready to be brave? Are you prepared to be brave? And uh, that's the thing. There are so many things that we don't know. And uh, when we don't know the outcome of a decision, and there is no way for us to find out the outcome to a decision, perhaps the best thing is to just be brave. That's perhaps the best thing you can do. You can just choose to be brave. If you don't know anything, if you don't know if you will live or die with the next decision, the best thing you can do is to choose to be brave and to, make the, to take the leap of faith and to hope for the best. And um, with that, at least no matter what happens, you will have known in them that you were able to be brave and you will be able to feel proud of that. No matter what happens, you will be able to feel proud over making the brave decision, not the cowardly decision, not the lazy decision, not the, uh, not the selfish decision. So, I am a huge proponent of that. Do what will make you feel good about yourself. Do what will make you feel proud of yourself. <laughs> you have nothing to lose. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you all for being here with me today. Leave a message and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you all in the next video.